Commander, I just got an emergency message from the students in Orion Hall. One of our instructors is with them, but they can't hold out much longer. Fair enough, but first of all, let's get rid of this message. Garrus. Enter Shepard. Oh, nice to see you too, Jack. <laughs> yeah, but I plan on giving them said support. Oh, hang on. Or at least I will when these guys are out of the way. Right, Garrus, you can hit an overload, please. Wow, that overload really didn't do much, did it? Same with you, Edie. That's more like it. See, moments like this when you've got the mech on you. This is where you can use Edie's decoy to try and get the mech to pull focus somewhere else. Or you can just destroy the thing like that. Get ready. More on the way. Huh, that didn't last long. Shepherd Punch! Oh, cheeky shot. <laughs> Kaylee said she was putting out an SOS. I had no idea the King of the Boy Scouts would show up. All right, amp check. Prangley, those fields were weak. Cerberus isn't going to lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> Damn it, how many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? <laughs> Jack, always the conversation list. Yeah, thanks for that. You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. As charming as ever. Good to see you again, Garrus. It still looks like shit. Okay, right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic! I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. Will do, will do. But before we do anything like that, let's have a little, uh, let's get some story time with Jack. Unless she's going to punch me again. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if she tells me they're F off again. No, she seems like she's grown as a person. Or at least her hair definitely has. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. Will do, but before that... I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... 
anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. There's the Jack we know and love. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So, all this talk about biotic artillery strikes. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But? They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. Hey, <laughs> they weren't just sounding epic, they actually had a meaning behind them too. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base, holding that damn biotic bubble up against those bug things. Ugh. I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle this. He can talk him to death. <laughs> Good old Morden, yeah, you're not you're not wrong, but somehow I don't think you can talk to that many of the collector bugs. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. Yeah, keeping it short and sweet. <laughs> Always was like you, Jack. Anyway, before you move How on does camera access, get us off this station. We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep servers from boxing you in. We'll do, Kaylee, we'll do. Oh, there are the cameras themselves. But before we do, we have some stuff that we can look around. High priority target, student ID, blah blah blah, Prangley. Capture priority alpha, bring back alive at all costs. Vi vital retrieval subject due to high level biotic abilities paired with high leadership testing scores. Consider prime candidate for indoctrination and high level enhancements for subs subsequent long term infiltration and relocation. Hmm. So that looks like uh, <laughs> your little biotic squad there, Jack, caught the eyes of a few other people too. Rightio, let's deactivate those cameras for you. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Okie pokey. You really think we're getting out of here? Of course we are. Don't talk like that. Sorry. Now these two bang on all the time. Trust me, you leave the room for five so seconds. Did you work with Commander Shepard? That's pretty badass. Yeah, wonder why she never mentioned it. Probably because I uh, pooped on her emotionally. <laughs> Tore her down right when she was opening up. Hot. I think I pulled a muscle in my brain. Just drink your juice, you'll be fine. Any more before I move on? You hear Cerberus saying people's names? They must have files on all of us. Why? Who'd make a file on you? Your biotic can barely lift 100 kilos. Yeah, but at least I passed biomathematics. Wow, well, talking about talking them to death, I think these two can do it for them. Can we get out of here? I'm going to the beach. Which beach? Ilium. Hotel Azure has a resort beach with waves and everything. Nothing but lonely Astari girls as far as you can see. That's assuming the Reapers haven't hit Ilium yet. You keep thinking like that, you'll die on the station. You've got to find something to focus on. Oh, I've got a feeling Omega can put up a bit of a fight. Maybe I need something other than some hot blue alien women to focus on. Hey, if you don't go for a star, you can, I don't know, it's a big galaxy out there. I don't need something out there. Well, then what do you need? Uh, hey, or maybe when this is over, we could get some coffee or something? You sure I wouldn't be interrupting your beach trip? You wear that green dress you wore at Holly's birthday party. You can interrupt anything you want. I think I can make that happen. Oh, look at that. Even during a war, male student and female student can find love. How romantic. <laughs> right, before we activate them, let's see what else there is around here. Now them two have stopped rabbiting on. 
I can't believe you and our teacher work together. With both of you here, maybe we've got a chance. No, oh, you've got more than a chance. I can't believe you and our teacher work together. With both of you here, maybe we've got a chance. <laughs> well, you sound a little bit simple, so maybe we don't. We'll be ready when you need us, Commander. That's more like it. You can join us, us <laughs> crew there, Prangley. Oh, Prangley, that's the one they were looking for. Better keep an eye on him. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. All right, Jack, we're ready to move. Everyone be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those those guys from above. A good strategy that protects the students from direct fire. I like it. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right. I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be half. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go. Now, I'll tell you what, if you. <laughs> I always said back in Mass Effect 2, if I weren't going to romance Tally, I would have romanced Jack. And this is one of the reasons why she becomes an even better character in ME3. Oh, enough about that, though. We oh, we've got company. Take cover, Shepard. Oh, nice shot, Edie. I'll take some of that damage protection. Let's be taking this shield. Let's be taking this shield. Oh, ready for action. Oh man, who is it with the rockets back there? Oh, I'm going to go ahead and shoot the mech. I didn't realise that guy was still alive. Whoa! Man, I always have hated this bit. They just lay the damage on. Alright, let's get rid of that engineer before he sets up another turret. Speaking of turrets. Damn it, looks like I'm going to have to go in a bit closer with that one. Shepard, hit a pull for crying out loud. Alright, looks like he's a bit goofy behind this cover. Whoa! Okay, we're going to have to move up. That turret's got us zoned in down here. Thanks for the bioc bioc assistance. All right, regain the shields. God, this bit, I always just have to take one step at a time because they these turrets will just destroy you given the chance. All right, let's get this thing moving. No, 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 I see what you're doing up there. Whoa, 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 I had no idea that turret was there. Wow. This, uh, <laughs> this might be cutting it a little bit fine. Now, do, oh, God, do we try and slap on the Medi gel in time? Or do we go in for a biotic charge? Oh, too, just too <laughs> risky. Concussive shot. 
incinerate, and I am going to go with the health. Wish me luck. Oh! Shepard with the clutch. All right, where was the bike charge again? Just keep spamming until we <laughs> kill this thing. Get our shields back up. Yikes. A little bit of health. Whew. Thank you, squad mates, in the nick of time. As I say, you want to take this bit a bit at a time because <laughs> it only takes a few seconds for him to absolutely destroy you like that. Right, let's take out this engineer before he sets up any more turrets than he already has. And let's, uh, let's not take a rocket to the face while we're at it. Now, definitely, I would suggest taking on this Atlas from back here because it can't move any further than that little uh, blockade in front of you. So standing back here to try and take that thing out. Definitely the smart approach. Oh, where am I going? But, oh, man, just I wouldn't get too ahead of yourself. Just take this part of the game, just... It's part of the mission, just one step at a time, because those turrets just destroy you. High priority targets. Prangley Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Other students are to be uh, retrieved alive if possible. If unavoidable, bring back bodies for use as genetic testing materials. Ad oh, oh God. Ad Ad whatever. To the original brief. <laughs> I'm getting all tongue-tied today. Subject zero is to be retrieved for further testing and possible conditioning. Current site profile indicates that holding students hostage are likely to be most successful tactic. Kaylee, we're in the atrium. I'm taking a back route to the shuttles. I'll meet you there. See, this is the one time where I wish I had Liara with us, because a nice little... Let's see if we can take that guy. A nice little uh, singularity would have been perfect right about then. Right. Let's try and get in there before... Try to get in there before they set up a turret. If we could, uh, instead of trying to take down a turret, just destroy it. Man, what is up with this guy? His health is insane. <laughs> Even though I just kept missing. I figure why... Oh, God, Garrus, what are you doing? I wonder why you died. Hey, welcome to the party, pal. Yeah, but as I was saying, there's no reason why you should have to take out a turret when you can just stop the turret from being made in the first place. Whoa! Where did these guys come from? Dude come from. I thought I'd cleared the area down here. Everyone okay up there? Rodriguez took one in the arm because she didn't watch her barrier. Commander, I've reached the Cerberus shuttles without being detected. They know what they're doing though. You need to hurry. Oh right. That's, ha, look at that. That's pretty handy. Alright, moving on. Man, that bit is just 
It seems like whatever way you try and do that mission, you just get absolutely swarmed. So the best thing you can do is just try not to advance too quickly and just, just take your time. Just take your time. Those turrets just destroy shields and health. Half the time, I find these uh, sort of like side missions or uh, secondary missions are <laughs> quite often harder than the main priority missions.